we meet Shelby, a teenager grappling with grief over her mother's death and the meanness of school bullies. But a ray of light enters her life when she connects with Bestie online. Bestie, however, isn't all sunshine and rainbows. Confined to her home due to a medical condition, Bestie offers support, but with a dark twist. Her encouragement to face fears escalates into dangerous dares, pushing Shelby to a breaking point. And her river, a classmate who understands Shelby's pain from his own experience with bullying. Their friendship blossoms, and Shelby starts distancing herself from Bestie's negativity. But Bestie, a master manipulator, won't let go so easily. When River asks Shelby on a date to a spooky abandoned house, little does Shelby know she's walking into a trap. It turns out that's Bestie's secret lair. And guess what? Bestie's been playing River, too. In a shocking twist, Bestie convinces River to take things too far, all in the name of a twisted best friend's forever pact. This episode takes us on a chilling ride, exploring the dark side of online friendships. We meet Shelby, a teenager struggling with grief and bullying. Enter Bestie, a seemingly supportive online friend who turns out to be a master manipulator. Bestie's web of lies. Bestie preys on her victim's vulnerabilities. With Shelby, it's the loss of her mum and bullying. Bestie exploits these feelings isolating Shelby by bonding over annoying dads and inventing a similar family life. For River, a disabled boy bullied for his differences, Bestie uses the anorexia community as a breach. The power of manipulation. Bestie's face your fears mantra twists into a twisted game. Shelby's initial small acts of defiance, like egging a house, escalate into poisoning classmates and self-harm. With River, Bestie feeds into his desire for acceptance and approval, manipulating him into violence. The unanswered, Bestie's true motives remain a mystery. Was she just a lonely girl seeking revenge on a cruel world, or something more sinister? The episode hints at a possibility beyond human, leaving us to ponder the depths of her darkness, the importance of real connections. The episode highlights the dangers of online spaces that fuel negativity. Isolated and vulnerable teens like Shelby crave acceptance making them easy targets. It's a stark reminder of the importance of real-world connections and parental support, a story beyond the bloodshed. While the violence is shocking, the episode's real horror lies in Bestie's manipulation. It's a cautionary tale about the dark corners of the internet and the importance of seeking help when isolated or bullied. American Horror Stories takes a scary look this season at the dark side of online friends and groups. They explore how these communities can turn toxic leading to terrible consequences. The main villain, Bestie, is a master manipulator. She finds people who are feeling lonely or insecure, like teenagers struggling with bullies. She pretends to be their friend, but then uses their weaknesses against them. Bestie convinces them to do dangerous and messed up things, all for her own twisted reasons. What makes it even creepier is that Bestie seems to understand the pain of people with disabilities. She uses that knowledge to get in their heads, and control them even more. It's a reminder that online, anyone can pretend to be someone they're not, and it's important to be careful who you trust. Bestie's motives are shrouded in mystery. Maybe she's a grown adult with a grudge against the world, manipulating these teenagers for reasons we never learn. It seems like River was in on it from the start, keeping Shelby isolated and under Bestie's control. Bestie craved a life of chaos and danger, using these vulnerable kids to do her dirty work. Shelby and River could have found real friendship with each other, but Bestie poisoned everything. Shelby's death will leave her father heartbroken, and the episode leaves us with a chilling reminder not everyone who seems friendly online actually has your best interests at heart.